Hi, everybody. Dave Sullivan here for the Credit Guy TV with special guest Joyce coming to you from India. She actually had a question uh, about opening credit cards, and I thought it would be very helpful for other people who are in a similar situation. Joyce, what kind of was your goal and what was your kind of credit profile and, and what did you want to build up to? Well, uh, my goal is to um, obviously increase my credit score, but I also have kind of a thin file and I needed to, um, as per the advice of some credit forums, I needed to add some credit, uh, uh, credit accounts, credit cards, so I went ahead and I applied probably for maybe nine different cards, and I opened up, I believe, seven, seven accounts uh, with the sole purpose of improving my credit. I don't need the credit cards, um, so I do have seven new accounts, and at this point, I think they're all about two and a half months old, and my credit... It did take a dip um, because of that, I think probably 20 points. So between the inquiries and the average age of my accounts uh, decreasing, it, it has at least temporarily lowered my score. So my question to you was, should I cancel a few of the new cars in order to increase the average age of my accounts? Yeah, and, um, you know, the thing about opening new accounts, Accounts. Many people will tell you that you shouldn't open up all, you know, seven at once. And I disagree with that advice. I really think you did the right thing. Now, there's a couple of things that are affecting your score now, and you're right about the average age of the accounts. That that is going to be shorter than it was, but that's not nearly as important as the inquiries that probably hit on all of those accounts. So you're probably suffering from the inquiries more than anything else. And then after six months those accounts will really start to count towards your FICO score and that's where you're going to see the pickup in score. So those inquiries will fall off altogether and then your score will improve. Now I would not cancel any of the cards that you got um, to to try and increase the age of the accounts. There's no reason to do that at this point. But what I wanted to ask you was, you know, your credit goal you said was to increase your score. Do you want to buy a house? Are you just overall concerned about your credit score? Is there a certain time frame that you'd like to have a good score by? Uh, I don't have a specific time frame, but um, obviously once I really started tracking it uh, this past summer, what happened was I got a new card, and before I got the new card, the new credit card, which gave me access to a free FICO score, I was too anxious um, and, emo and emotional to look at my to really look at my credit reports and my credit score. And then when I really started looking at it and learning more, I felt empowered to actually be able to do something about my credit. And so I've sort of been a little bit obsessing, and um, so I want to make things happen fast. But I don't have a definite need. I would like to. Uh, buy a new car sometime in the next six months and get a good rate and down the line um, invest maybe invest in a, in a property but I don't have any uh, immediate, immediate goal yeah that's good I mean so I was just saying that you didn't have an immediate need for a high score which is perfect because you've done taken the actions that will set you up for a good score in the future many people wait until right before they want to buy a house or right before they want to get a car to try to improve their score. And credit scores don't really work that way. It takes time to build them up. And a lot of the short-term moves you're going to make, like opening new accounts, are going to hurt at first. But then as time goes by and you make payments on those accounts and uh, you get a little more history, your score will go much, much higher. So, I mean, what I wanted to tell people, and the reason why I wanted to have you on is because a lot of people are in the position of having a thin file. They're starting out with credit, and they're unsure of how to proceed to get more accounts. And what you really should do is do exactly what you did, is apply for all of the cards at once, suffer through the dip of your credit score that's going to happen, and then you'll uh, start to improve greatly after that. Awesome. Yeah, so I yeah, really... I, I'm not sure exactly what happened. Go ahead. I'm sorry, did you say 
No? I'm not sure exactly what happened, but um, a few days ago, my Equifax score jumped by 26 points, so mm-hmm. I don't, I'm not sure if it's starting to kick in already or what it was, but um, I was pretty happy about that. Well, I, I need to caution everybody as well because, you know, there are so many different credit scores out there that people get a false sense of security depending on what score they're looking at. And I can tell you that FICO, which is the main company that uh, mortgage companies use, has just come out with a FICO 9 version. And in that version, scores are typically higher than the traditional FICO score. So, and then add to that, you have Vantage. And then what, what, did you get your credit score with a credit card offer? No, this is, I went directly through myfico.com. Okay, good. So you went through myfico.com, which is what I recommend if you want to get as close to a a real credit score as you can uh, get. But even if you went to myfico.com, you may have gotten an 8 or a 9 version. And just so you know, when you go to apply for a mortgage, they're still using 04. Fannie and Freddie are looking at, at updating their models, but because the newer FICO scores score higher than the older ones, more than likely the minimum FICO score on those models is going to be higher than it is now. But I think you did everything right, and I I know that there's a lot of bad information out there, and I'm just glad that you you did do things correctly and you followed the correct information. I I wish you well and safe travels back to America. I'm sure it was an incredible trip out there. Yes, thank you so much. What one thing is different in India, or what do you miss most about the States? Oh, my God. Um, (laughs) Besides missing my family and friends, probably the food. Yeah? (laughs) You know, um, I'm not a big meat eater. I do eat chicken, but uh, meat is completely banned in Rishikesh, uh, the city where we're staying. It's a holy city. It's called the yoga capital of the world. Um, Also, I really honestly miss cheddar cheese and chocolate. You know, the chocolate quality is not good here. (laughs) Yeah, I, I know that that can be a big, uh, very important is the quality of chocolate. So, uh, like I said, <laughs> safe travels back. I, I wish you guys both both the best, and I know that you'll be in perfect shape to get, you know, that American-made car when you get home. Awesome. Thanks so right. much, Dave. Yep, thank you. Thank you.